Going further, using right triangles to find slope, lesson 3.2d. We can use right triangles to find the slope of a line. The hypotenuse of the triangle is the line. Remember, the hypotenuse of a right triangle is the longest side. The vertical leg is the rise. The horizontal leg is the run. We count the unit lengths of the rise and the run to find the slope of the line. Now, we cannot use right triangles to find the slope of a vertical line, an undefined line. If the line is the hypotenuse of the right triangle, we can't make vertical and horizontal legs. Can't do it. So we learned in the last video that the slope of a line is the ratio of the difference in the y values, the rise, to the difference in the x values, the run. We're going to use the hypotenuse as the line, and we're going to have our rise and our run, and we're going to have a right triangle. So here it's telling us to find the slope of a line for the ordered pairs 3, 5, and 5, 8. Step 1, we plot the points. We have 3, 5, and 5, 8. Step 2, we draw a line through those points, a straight line. Step 3, we draw a right triangle using the line as the hypotenuse of the triangle. So we go across until we get to the grid line for this point, and we go up, and we count the units. We have 1, 2, 3 for the rise, and 1, 2 for the run. We know our slope is 3 over 2 as the rise to the run. Here it's telling us to plot the points 0, 3, and 10, 8 on the grid. So we do. We have 0 for the x, so that's going to be here, and 3 for the y is going to put us here. That's our first point. Then we have 10, 8. Here's 10, and here's where it meets 8. That's our second point. We draw and label two different right triangles, A and B, with each hypotenuse on the line and a right angle vertex. So that would be right here and right here. We'd have that right angle vertex at the intersection of two grid lines. We make sure the triangles are the same shape but different sizes. So for triangle A, we have a rise of 2, 1, 2, and a run of 1, 2, 3, 4. And our rise over run is 2 fourths. We simplify it. Our slope is 1 half. For triangle B, our rise is 1, 2, 3 over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The rise over run is 3, 6, which simplifies to 1 half. The ratios of rise to run for both triangles are equivalent because they both simplify to one half. For triangle A, our rise over run was two fourths. For triangle B, it was three six. They both simplify to one half. The slope of the line is constant between the points zero for x and three for y, and four for x and five for y, and the points four for x and five for y, and ten for x, eight for y because the slope between these points are the same. They're one half. If their slopes were different, the slope of the line would not be constant. How does a slope of 9 fifteenths compare to a slope of 12 twentieths? We can simplify them to compare them. 9 fifteenths simplifies to 3 fifths. 12 twentieths simplifies to 3 fifths. Both slopes are the same, so they're equal. If we need to select points on the grid to find the slope, it's best to choose an intersection of two grid lines. You want an intersection of two grid lines wherever they fall. On this grid, 2 for x and 3 for y, and 6 for x and 5 for y are good points. These are on intersections of grid lines. If we don't choose the intersection of two grid lines, we'll be forced to work with fractions such as 2 for x, 3 for y, and 5 and a half for x, and 4 and a half for y. It's easier to do 2 is the rise over 4 is the run to get 1 half than it is to do 1 and a half over 3 to get 1 half. 
use the grid lines where they intersect and you'll be dealing with integers that are easier to find the slope. We're finished with lesson 3.2 and we're moving on to 3.3 .3, and we're going to begin by relating the unit rate to slope. I want you to keep in mind that if you watch every single video in my playlists, you will learn easier because I do gradual steps to the more difficult types of problems. You'll have a greater chance of understanding everything. If you skip around, you may miss something and that could hurt you in the long run. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I hope you join me for 3.3. .3. Bye.